show in 3D. We firmly believe since the beginning in a cloud native architecture. AWS, Amazon Web Services, granted us the opportunity to offer a market proven solution able to exploit the three main cloud advantages, elasticity, reliability, and safety. The robustness of showing 3D push us to be one out of 30 companies all over the world that has been awarded by AWS with the industrial software competency, a designation that highlights one more time the consistency of our solution for enterprise application. But going back to our process, with such an elastic tool as our engine and the power of cloud, archi cloud architecture, the digital twins library can be transformed in many points of contact with the customer, customer audience. Once we have this digital twin repository available, we can easily offer a digital product showing or a native full customized app. Then we can extend the same experience to generate a tool for marketing and sales. For example, product configurator, virtual try before buy experience in augmented reality or innovative order entry tool. Then to the same library, we can create application for training and post sale assistance. Well, I previously said that I consider real-time 3D interactive technology as a fluid that has to be shaped accordingly to company needs and strategy. And that's why we use showing 3D. The use of showing 3D can vary from a company to another because a company may look for a tool able to assess the prototype design and speed up the kickoff product phase, while another may want to virtually show the full process and function to facilitate learning and knowledge transfer thanks to full interactive training and post-sales applications, while other may want to keep their customer base on board and attract prospects by offering them an engaging 24-7 digital shopping experience. What is clear and certain are the four pillars that make Showing 3D a cutting edge tool. And the four pillars that a digital twin repository manager should have. It is scalable because after receiving, after having created a 3D interactive application, the experience can be extended to entire collection from a single product to a digital warehouse, for example. It's multi-device because it follows the golden rule, mobile first. So every application can be used via desktop, tablet, and smartphone without editing a specific version. It's cross-platform because the same experience is seamless available for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, but also WebGL, immersive virtual reality, augmented reality, still without editing a specific version. And of course, is 100% data driven, which is really important for an effective application and for an effective use of digital twins, because can autonomously manage very complex configuration rules using multiple variables and different sources. So uh, somebody says that a picture is worth a thousand words, but if that's true, in engine software, we used to say that an experience is worth a thousand pictures. So I think that it's the right time to show you some practical example of usage uh, of digital twin as an asset to communicate with the market and to accept the, the market challenges. So,
in this case, oh, sorry, I've interrupted the, the screen sharing. Here we are. So what we are seeing here, uh, it's of course, it's a watch, but which is the, the most important thing that the photorealistic quality and material, the perception of the, the, the quality of the material and the configuration of option, because I can switch from in real time from an, a configuration to another one. But I, I, I show you this example because to a digital twin as a replica of a product is connected a flow of information. In this case, the Central Europe time, because since I'm performing this, I'm running this, uh, this interactive experience from Italy, the, the watch is real time showing the time. So uh, it's, it's a flow of information connected to a physical, to a digital, digital twin. I can move. Of course, the interaction is 100% free. I hope that the animation are smooth due to the internet connection. And I can set up specific close up so camera movement as well. And every configuration, as I said, I can switch from one configuration to another in, in real time. In this case, it's just one watch with six product variables as material and the combination between the quadrant and the, uh, the, the belt and the material as well. But, we can, as I said, the aim of a digital twin repository of the digital twin library is, is start from a single object and extend the interactive experience to a whole collection in order to have a real uh, 3D interactive product catalog and a real uh, virtual uh, warehouse. Then I'm going to show you another example In, it's a coffee machine. As you can see in, in the screen I'm sharing, the system is downloading the asset as soon as I call for the action. Even in this case, I can move and interact the product. I can move and interact with the, with, with the object. I can hide some elements. I can activate some animation. For example, I can use this uh, interactive experience, as I said, to create a post sales assistant. Oh, there's a question. What is the difference between the PLM and the digital twinning? It's the, uh, basically, is the photorealistic uh, quality of material because in many cases, the, the PLM offers a, a, what I called before a, a cold uh, 3D CAD file representation of the product. But in this case, I hope really that you can see um, the, the, the details that I'm, I'm showing. We, we put some digits, impression, some marks, some finger marks on, on the product. And even the, uh, the aluminum shows some scratch because it has to be the, close to, the closest to real as possible. And as I said, I can show you uh, an animation to, um, for example, rip how to replace a coffee capsule, but I can also call for some information, additional information that can be uh, recorded or as, or as in the case of the watch that I've shown you before, can be called for from um, a, a source of information such as IoT 
or uh, as I did before, the, the, the local watch of my computer. So going back to another, oh, sorry, there's another question. Oh no, it's just a note. Um, going back, I will go back to uh, another, another example, maybe uh, a little more complex and connected to the industrial and manufacturing. And in this case, we have a, a complex manufacturing tool that can be combined by several models. So exactly as the, the, the question that I've been asked a few minutes ago, but I can also display information, for example, the production path, I can call for dimension of every, of every model, for example, I can switch instantly from a material to another, for example, not only color, because I can switch from for example, the, the, the standard one to the red one, but even with another material, I can switch to, to glass. And of course, I can interact with the product element as well without losing the look and feel perception to interact with uh, something that has to be the closest to real as possible. Going back to Another example which is useful for, and it's a case that it's, it's a kind of um, configurator really that we are really asked for uh, in, in, this, in this period, this, oh no, in case of social distancing and pandemic situation, because we are not allowed to go to stores anymore. So uh, companies, would like to offer their customer the most engaging remote store experience as possible. In this case, I'm going to show you the same application split into two phases. The first one, as we are, can, we are doing now together, I'm showing you a product configuration. I'm showing you several product configuration, configuration using a traditional um, wave of, of fruition, su such as, for example, a WebGL or a desktop usage or a native app, but the same application with the same quality and the same capacity of uh, interaction can also be used in augmented reality. Because especially for the fashion industry, the uh, and for the furniture, furniture as well, the opportunity to place a digital product in a real environment uh, can boost up the sales by 11 times and also can drop by 22% the, um, the, 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 poly, the returns of the same product. Because having a try before you buy experience can really set up a new way uh, to consider the product in the customer's mind. Oh, thanks, Ray. Yeah, yeah. It's almost near to holding the item by hand. Yes, you're right. But I'm going to, uh, to show you now, now a video that it will definitely uh, give you this kind of an experience. Yeah, sure. Yes. Can this be augmented to a phone? For sure. And that's exactly the point of the perfect usage of a digital twin, because you can have an amazing experience, but as long as, if you're not able to uh, share this experience is the most um, spread technology, as I said, the golden rule is mobile first. And I show you the, the policy of uh, Apple iPhone 12 Pro about the leader uh, sensors. 
And so, sorry. Here it is, the video. So in this case, you can uh, recognize the, uh, the interface, which is on the top left, is exactly the same that if I switch again to, to the product configurator, it's just the same, and I interact with, with the, uh, the, the private, right? But I can use the same application on a mobile, on, a, on an iPhone or on a tablet, an iPad. And I have, in this case, the, 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 the user interface. I can detect the areas. I can place the product in the space. And in this case, you have uh, a real, on the right, you have a real Nike shoes, not exactly the same of because the Nike Jordan Air can be close to $300. I mean, it's a, it's a really expensive model. So we, we, we have conducted this test and this demo using uh, more affordable shoes. And so there's, uh, Nike, there's uh, Nike shoes on the right, right, and we have detected the surface and placed our product on the left side. So I will start the video, and I really hope that the internet connection will allow you to uh, to have a good um, experience of this video. So as you can see, the, the product has been placed in, in the space and you can move around, you can move and you can also interact, which is really important because it's good having a great digital twins with many, many options. But if you can use in augmented reality only a crystallized, version of the digital twin it's just the experience is not just the same that's why it's really important using uh, having this kind of experience in hotels yes sorry tisha i've got uh, uh i i read your your question and i've got of course, as you can see, the video keeps on going with the uh, recording of uh, a neutral, neutral area. So uh, since I talk about the importance of having a data-driven rules-based engine, I would like to show you some metrics about three projects. Um, the first one is a project that we have done with uh, Rubinetteria Stella. Uh, in this case, there's a real active role of the end user because at the end of the day, we have created seven different configurators and that use and exploit the uh, CAD 3D CAD file for the originally created for the uh, product launch. And the, the, there are three bathroom areas, which is the wash basin, the bathtub, and the shower. But which is important, uh, stress out that this kind of configurator is able to manage, generate something close to 250 million different configuration in real time. Uh, what does it mean? It, it offers, the company is going to offer to, to the market and a really active role of the end user, which is a revolution for the top industry because it's really a customer-centric user experience because the customer can manage, can interact with the object, can express his needs and also can see the price variations in real time. The, the second one is another approach um, because it's a kind of, it's uh, done a reverse engineer by the, the second approach, the reverse engineering one. Marks and Spencer, they chose showing 3D and this kind of technology 
of course, and then show in 3D, but at, at least the uh, digital twin technology to generate photorealistic static render in place of traditional photo shooting. And using a reverse engineering approach, we have digitized, well, 70,000 couches have been digitized and the data-driven rules-based engine generated 170,000 high static, high resolution static render in something close to 30 computing hours. Of course, it's clear the cost optimization and it's also clear that they now they already have a kind of asset that are ready for real time 3D. They started with a kind of batch render, but now they have the asset for a real time 3D interactive experience as well. Last but not least, talking about hotels and going back to the question that I read. And as an ever problems and different questions, I want to share with you some metrics of this Zakura project. Well, even in this case, with a reverse engineering approach, we have digitized 160 venues of four luxury hotels using the DWG files and photo shootings, chairs, table, wall decorations, ceilings, every digital item looks, the aim of this project is to have a dynamic tool for meeting events and incentive business. And the data-driven rule-based engine of showing 3D is able to process, manage, and display more than a billion scenarios in real time. Cutting costs for site inspection and filling the gap between customer perception and reality. So I'm more than glad now to answer to all your questions. Yes, yeah, sure. So um, we'll be there and literature available for me to read them out the, about the hotel application. Sure, sure. There's, we, we've got a lot of um, data and of insights uh, conducted by, on the field, I mean, uh, on our experience. And I will be more than glad to share with you uh, all these uh, informations. And I will be more than glad to share with you and activate and uh, habilitate you uh, personally test live demo as I done today in your computer and remotely because it's really important beside the uh, easiness of um, distribution also the easiness of sharing it's definitely important so I can decide to once I created a 3D interactive application I can decide to uh, create a temporary um, file link so you may be able to assess by yourself the effectiveness and the reliability of this kind of solution. So, yeah, is the solution live? Well, if you're talking about the uh, solution of the hotel, in this case, no, it's not live because it's a tool that they are privately used for. Uh, the activity between events manager and uh, events company, events planner. But what can I do for you now is there's a live solution and I can show you and can share an experience with you, which is the simple, uh, the product configurator for the uh, wash basin. As you can see on the top left of the screen, there's, there's a, I can, well, I can, it's easy for me. It, it's, you can just go to www.simpletap.it and then you can switch the language into English or Italian or French. And then you can create, start entering the configuration experience. 
As I said, there are seven different configurators. Uh, now, what You should see it. Okay, here we are. Sorry, my fault. Okay, so and the, and then you can interact with the product. Uh, you, as you can see, you have. Uh, you can switch from different kinds of handles. There's a, a basic, a basic uh, setup, of course, a starting point, which is the most common, the chrome finished uh, three holes uh, uh, wash basin tap. But uh, I can hold them. As you can see in the bottom, the system directly call for the um, 